Hey everybody, and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0, the mod suite for the Realism Overhaul setup of mods for Kerbal Space Program. We are joining again our Venus probe as it goes to make a mid-course correction on its way to Venus. Uh, I have used MechJeb to bypass Flight Computer, and I am trying desperately to get into... Oh wait, I can't, because uh, I'm using MechJeb to bypass... <laughs> The flight computer, which has proven super useless with timing and things, but I still tried. But MechJeb, thankfully, still works. Also, um, yeah, MechJeb won't let me uh, come out of time warp. I'm hoping it will do it soon enough to where I can switch to docking mode. Yes, delete on close, close alarm. I didn't even read what that said. <laughs> Oh, I would like to go into docking mode so I can make sure that I can ullage this motor appropriately to make this burn happen. There we go. And to try to burn off some of these fuels. I think I unlocked this tank a while ago because I didn't think I was going to be able to. And now I find myself uselessly burning fuel. But there it goes. The engine is lit. We are on our way. I would like to have this encounter happen just as it's supposed to, and seeing as how I can't decouple the top stage anyway, because I don't have a connection and MechJeb can't do that, I'm just going to go ahead and lean on this pedal and give it literally everything we have, which is mostly hydrazine, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, thankfully though, that when the UDMH and nitric acid is spent, it will just continue to lean on the pedal for me which would be really awesome. Um, I don't know how refined this is going to make my approach, but it's like a three degree uh, inclination change as far as an approach to Venus is concerned, which would leave me with a much flatter exit and therefore the hope of maybe one day being able to swing by fast Kerbin again and retrieve some science. So this contract may be a wash because I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to be broadcasting back some science to fulfill it. But, um, you know, it's still super exciting. I'm going to try anyway. And the engines are spent with 600 meters per second shy. Let's see where that leaves us on the grand scope of things. I plotted out a bunch of nodes in hopes of making things happen before I realized that my delta V was sorely lacking. Focus view. Well, it is still an approach, although a very wide one, but it is getting better, although honestly the approach before this correction was like straight down and under the pole and then back out again, which would have left us with absolutely no chance of ever encountering Earth ever again. Although I'm kind of still in that boat. So we're just going to let the rest of this burn through. I'm pretty sure I can't. Oh, I can. Can I unlock it now, though? I can. What I can't do is decouple. So I don't know how well this is going to work. I know I'm not going to get 600 meters per second out of this little bit of hydrazine, but we're going to... We're just going to let it ride. You never know. And... Ironically enough, if I were able to decouple, if I had a connection, I could probably get this burn right, but I... Oh, wow, that's walking around quite a bit. because I'm in docking mode. <laughs> yeah. That might be why. And also, Mechchev is a terrible pilot, as it turns out. Yeah, whatever. But little to no chance of actually recovering this thing or getting any of the data it contained within, which is discouraging, sure, but doesn't mean I'm not going to at least try. I think I can still get that flyby contract. Uh, oops, I forgot to do that. Launch a vessel below 20 million, collect science, recover or transmit. Yeah, this is kind of a wash. 
and I'm pretty sure that that means I will fail that contract because I don't think I have a transfer window anymore. And um, I don't think I could get another craft there in time. And if I could, I would still have the same problems. So we're probably going to take a fairly large hit on that one. So are we going to be less than 20 million? Certainly not. We'll just let these round out their last 12 before I try ultimately futilely to decouple. No connection to send command on. Alright, what I can do, however, is... Uh, port the node execution. Use this little bit of RCS to orient myself towards the sun. At least I can keep the batteries alive for most of this journey. And we'll call that a day. Very uninteresting, I know. But hey, it was, uh, we're still going to encounter Venus, and I think that's a pretty big accomplishment. Especially for, God, what is it, 1956? So, you know, like, way ahead of the bell curve here. <laughs> yes, and in 12 days we have a Mars transfer window that we will ultimately send a an exact replica that will be equally as useless to Mars in hopes of getting a flyby. Oh, yes, I know, this vessel is complete. Yeah. May 26, 1956. I'd say we're doing pretty good. I did buy a bunch of new science things, and we can take a look here at our tech research. We have a whole lot of things coming down the pipeline, just all of them are going to take a very, very long time. Mature orbital rocketry, which gives us the beautiful Asteris engine. Electrics, better solar panels, I think a pro core or two. Um, some of this stuff was just to get the point and because I could afford it, so um, life will become a whole lot easier once we get a lot of this stuff unlocked. But what we are going to do right now, since we have the money, is upgrade our launch pad for 75000 so we can actually roll out heavy rockets instead of having to fuel them on the pad like I've been doing. Oh man, 150 grand, that is... Um, mission control. Okay, we already have flight planning. I already upgraded the tracking station. Unknown dot. Okay. I thought one of these gave us the ability to transfer resources. And girls can perform EVAs. That will be useful, but not yet. Uh, unlocking R&D is 400 grand. My god. That's not complex. Oh, yeah, okay. Resource transfer available. That is going to be super useful, and we're going to need it to start unlocking some new science. So I... God, that's half of our money, and I really wouldn't like to spend that on research points. Oh, tough call. Oh, I can't this... No. Not yet. There's still things there I haven't unlocked, and besides, I would like to spend uh, a couple hundred grand on research points in hopes of bringing some of that uh, cost down. 545 seems pretty good. R&D. 
we're going to put a lot of these here so that we can unlock some of these things a lot faster. Did not mean to do that. Two, two, three. Good caliper. All right, yeah, this is VAB. I wonder when we unlock our second assembly line. Is that with a VAB upgrade? Should I be saving some of these? All right, we'll go ahead and put three more into that. Close. Now what is our... Yeah, see? Jeez, that cut so much time out of all of this. That actually makes things awesome. None of it will be ready in time for our Mars window. But, yeah. You know, so what? Okay, close that out. No, wait. VAB. And see our Ranger Mark II that is going to Mars is already built and ready to go. Thank goodness. What I am going to do, however, is take advantage of uh, some of the remote tech stuff that allows omnidirectional antennas to compound each other's range. Um, I didn't really pay much attention to it until I realized that I was outside of Earth's sphere of influence for just a little while and still had contact with uh, Kerbin. Yeah, in case you didn't already know what this rocket looks like, there it is. Oh man, I upgraded the launch facility and I don't know if it will be ready in time. That's awkward. See, so yeah, like these on their own should only have a 4 million kilometer range, but when you stack a lot of them together, they actually increase the range of each other. I don't know how. So, sorry about the dogs. So what I'm going to do is severely cheat the system by piling on a lot more. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to kill the mic till they calm down. Real sorry. Alright, I don't know if that's quite enough to put us in range of Mars, but maybe. And I should not put them under the same boot sequence. I should put them under their second group. Uh, ox boot. Activate. 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 I put three, yep, there they are. Activate. Build. Alright. Where did those go? Boom, boom. Okay, good. They're still in the correct grouping. That's awesome. Alright. And to ensure that we can run these things. Man, what did I do? Alright. Yeah. We're going to go a little crazy with our solar panels also. Alright. And full well knowing that that engine is useless, I really wonder if I should just scrap that whole thing. Hmm. 
No, because if I have connection, I'll be able to decouple. So, no. But if I decouple, then I won't have connection. Or maybe I will. Maybe it will relay. That would be cool. Um, I'm not going to do the math to figure it out. We're just going to wing it. And Oh, yeah. You guys need to be in your own group, certainly. All right. Stage. You can go right up here. Save edits. 21 hours until that guy's ready to go. But we will get to that next time. So until then, thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Sorry we didn't get to much in this episode. But uh, next time, looks like we're launching for Mars. So uh, until then, I will see you guys later.